Hi, I'm Jay Matheson with the Jam Room Recording Studio and Midlands Audio Institute. I'm here today at Front End Audio to talk about the uh, Samson D1500 Real-Time Analyzer. And uh, basically what I use one of these for uh, in our B Studio, uh, we don't have uh, as good a, a monitoring environment as we have in our A Room. So I get a lot of use out of this and basically how I use this piece is by taking the two mix of, on the output of my Digi-003, which is uh, the, the piece that we use uh, in our, uh, our B studio, our B room, into this so I can visually see the frequency response of the output signal. And I find it very useful. A lot, a lot of times I might work in the A room for a while. I need to go over to the B room. Well, I'm not quite used to the sound there, and I'll, I'll I'll see the graphic representation here of what's happening. If I see the, the high end rolling off and at what frequency, I can compensate for that with my bus EQ. So I find this to be the best uh, function that I could think of for this particular piece. But this thing does all sorts of stuff. It's got a, a mic input on the back. You can use it as a, a real-time analyzer, you know, run pink noise or white noise in and uh, EQ, a live PA system or something like that. This thing has got way too many features and functions for me to even go into it. This, this is an, a totally feature-packed analyzer, and I find it to be moderately accurate as well. So if you have a, a monitoring environment and you're really not happy with the mixes, all your mixes are muddy, well, if you uh, run the output of your interface into this, you can actually see the frequency response, you'll see the big lump in the low end and the dip in the high end. Well, you'll know why your mixes are muddy. Maybe your monitors are inaccurate, or maybe your room isn't treated right. But if you run your signal into this and uh, you know look at an analyzer when you're mixing, you can overcome a lot of these problems. And once you get used to mixing in your room to where your mixes sound flat outside of your room, you'll your ear will develop to a point where your mixes just sound better after working in your room as well. So I definitely think if you're having really bad problems with the sounds of your mixes, running the output through an analyzer is a good idea. And the reason that I suggest this analyzer is it's very inexpensive and it's one of the only hardware analyzers that I see available these days that's not just ridiculously expensive. And one thing I'll notice about plug-in analyzers, you know, there's tons of them out there and to me, I look at those things and they're just not telling me anything. Uh, the hardware analyzers are a lot better because you have like peak hold that you can adjust. And of course, you can tweak these things out, uh, you know, the resolution of the meters. You can tweak this unit any way you want it to and it will perform very well. And of course, all you got to do is run your inputs into the back and you don't even have to monitor the output or anything. You just uh, you know, plug it up, send the signal into it, and of course you have to you know, set it on analyzer mode here, and you, know, you can adjust here your, your peak hold settings. Uh, uh, you can tweak out the input level so that you can, uh, you know, different platforms, different uh, pieces of gear are gonna give you different levels. You can tweak the level out here so you can get everything looking right. Uh, you can tweak out the resolution of the screen. What can I say? This is a great bang for the buck. There's a, a lot of pieces of gear out there that uh, try to help you with your monitoring environment. But this is an old school must, I think. The real-time analyzer that you can visually see all 31 bands on. So if you're looking for a way to help straighten out those muddy mixes or those overly bright mixes, if you want to see the peaks that actually exist within your mix, there's a very inexpensive way of straightening it out, the Samson D1500 Real-Time Analyzer. I think so that some of you guys might could find this to be a very useful piece in your studio. So if you're interested in one of these, check them out at frontendaudio.com.